guys, what's up? So I'm just sitting here watching Jimmy Oaks open some packages and I found this ad on Craigslist from 30 minutes ago. Got a free school bus. First person, you know, they can get it off the property and tow it away, it's theirs. So I've talked to a couple buddies who own tow companies, got the price, got some guys arranged I could get either today or tomorrow. So I've now emailed the owner and uh, like I said, it's been up for about 45 minutes. I doubt I'm the first one to reach them, but it is Craigslist, which is kind of dying out nowadays. And hopefully, hopefully they respond and we get this as a free project. Let's see. Um, so I emailed them and back to videos. All right guys, we're doing it. If you can't tell, I'm pulling into a storage unit right now. And we're about to see the free school bus for the first time. So let's get around here and see uh, see what we're working with. Oh, a lot of stuff back here. This is not the area I expected to be pulling a free school bus from. There it is. I see her. All right, guys. It's real. The bus is real. So we have a Thomas built bus, a Chevy uh, 6.5 diesel dually bus. Tires are okay on the back. Front door's locked. As you can see, it's a. Let's see if I can get this open, but it's a 6.5 diesel or 60 series diesel. Sorry. Oh, a little bigger than the 6.5. So yeah, there she is. Diesel bus. Everything's here. Look at how big this thing is. And it's free. Here, look, someone's already even gutted it. This was someone's project. Oh my god, there's even already insulation in here. Someone was gonna do something with this and then just never did. I mean, it clearly looks like they parked it here. It has 104,000 miles on it. Holy crap, this is crazy. All right, I gotta call some tow companies and just see what we can work out, but uh, yeah, we'll get on it. But yeah, I'm gonna do some more diagnostic, take a look at everything, and then uh, I guess see if we can get her in neutral and get her out of here. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys and uh, we're good to go. But hold on, let me sit in this seat. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm sitting in them. Oh, it goes right into neutral, okay. All right, cool. We're good there. Uh, I'm gonna check over a few more things and hopefully next time you see me, I'm like blowing this on a tow truck or something like that. All right guys, so I've done some looking and here's the game plan. The bus will easily go into neutral. Um, so that's no problem getting on a trailer. Like I said, it's already stripped. This is a big fucking bus. It's only got like an 18 foot wheelbase, but it is a 60 passenger bus. Um, so what I'm gonna do is call some tow companies see who can get this out of here either this afternoon or tomorrow morning and then um go from there oh i dropped their card with the code but yeah Boys, we're on the way home, and you'll never believe what's in front of me. Our new project, the free bus. I don't know what to call this, the abandoned salvage bus. It's abandoned at a so, yeah, story on this thing. It's been in a scrapyard for a year. Um, I saw a post on a wanted page on Craigslist, so I emailed them, of course, right away. I said, hey, I'll haul it. Don't even worry about it. I'll be there like, whenever I can, like, immediately. I'll be there immediately. So I rolled up there the next morning, 10 a.m., as you guys saw. Checked her out. I called Southern Star Towing because they always hook it up, 550 to deliver it back to my house, which seems kind of pricey. But in comparison, I had quotes close to $1,400 to get this towed to my house. It really isn't that bad, um, especially since our total cost now in this thing is only 
$550. So yeah, we're gonna get it back home and um, I'll check back in with you guys when she's getting dropped off at the house and we figure out somewhere to put it. walked through it before but I've done a little research looked into it a little bit so it is a 1990 Thomas built school bus on a Chevy 6000 chassis with the Chevy diesel and all that I'm not quite sure what motor that is I know it's an 8.2 liter um so big diesel well, the odometer reads 103,000 miles um so this thing is like broken in it was driven to the storage lot and then just abandoned for a year um so I'm assuming once I get a key or a screwdriver in there, it's gonna crank up and run. I just have the batteries on some chargers, hoping they charge up. They were holding about six volts still, which after a year, I'm hoping that means um, they have a little life in them, but we'll see. I just wanna get this thing cranked up and uh, shifting through gears and kind of see if everything's working. Cause if that's the case, we'll get straight to paint and working on it. kind of started hot wiring and since we don't have a, uh, a key for it so I'll show you what I did these have a, a one piece ignition but they put a, a diagram on the back of one of the caps so what I basically did was just add a fuse jump the grounds together right here and then I wired the battery to one of these is the starter and the other is the ignition I don't have enough juice to start it, I don't think. Yeah. So we'll see. So yeah, we got this thing all wired up, got the ignition turning on, got the switch, we know the starter. Right now I'm only getting about six volts from the batteries to the um, actual starter solenoid. So that's not gonna do anything for us in a unit this large. So I'm gonna run out to see what I can find for batteries, see what I have around the house that we can kind of MacGyver together to at least get this thing cranking and maybe start up because I'm hoping I can move it to the storage lot on Monday. All right, so like I said, got our batteries over here. We got both of them charging. I don't think they're gonna do anything because like I said, we're only getting uh, six volts up the starter solenoid. So I'm gonna run to the store, grab some supplies and uh, hope when I come back, it's got a little more juice to at least kind of collect the starter. We'll just have to see. Hooked up. Guys, you saw us put the battery in. I'm gonna stand on the bus so I'm not like hanging halfway out the door. guys so, so we're still getting nothing i'm gonna pull voltage at the uh starter so nice here we get i don't know i'm gonna pull the voltage at the starter so starter and see really? yeah. that's pretty good yeah all right click it off all right so Got our connections all cleaned off. Now I'm gonna go back in the bus, mess with the ignition a little more and see if we can get it cranking. Um, I'll put the batteries on the trickle chargers just for a little bit, see if they need a little more juice since they've been sitting. Sometimes we need to maintain some where you get them. But yeah, I'm gonna get that all put together and hopefully we can get this cranked up. All right guys, we're back. We cleaned the terminals. 
We re rewired some switches and maybe it's and maybe it's gonna start. Tyler's gonna do the honors. I got it. You won't get shocked. I put a fuse on it so you can't. What if I just Just leave your foot on the brake in case it moves. <laughs> That's the kill switch, remember that. Just bump it and see if it turns it. Damn it. Damn it! I'm telling you, man. Starter's not even turning over. Everything is power. Alright guys, so we ran to AutoZone, got a solenoid switch because the solenoid's definitely dead, and we got a key for our ignition, so uh, we're going to start it and see what happens. Will our abandoned bus start? No fucking way. <laughs> start it right up. Alright. I don't know how they're supposed to sound, but it sounds like when the idle's not perfect. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't know. It runs. You can smell it. Yeah, it's running. It's not. Come over here. Let's see if it's smoking at all. Oh, the idle's smoothing out. Oh, it's not too bad. She puttered. Oh yeah, getting that good diesel smell. Oh, dude, she's puttering. Dude, she's puttering. It didn't even, dude, it didn't even hesitate. It started immediately. That's crazy. Alright. Looks like you're still so dead. Yeah, we're gonna go through this. We'll catch back up. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry shaking a little bit, but it's the next day. Um, as you saw yesterday, we got the bus started. Turns out we had a bad starter solenoid. As soon as we jumped it and put it on the switch, fires right up, no problem. Now that we've that figured out, I want to get on to prepping it for paint and getting the ready, the inside ready to be framed and stuff like that. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is pull up all these wood boards in here that someone drilled down and I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, after that, I'm going to go outside and pressure wash the whole thing, and, uh, I guess I'm going to call my insurance too and see what this thing costs to put on there. But other than that, yeah, let's get started with today. Let's get started on, uh, this work, because it's going to, it's going to be a lot, and I want to get this thing going and get this thing ready. So we're going to start cranking this out, and, uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys when we figure out what we're doing next. <laughs> got the bus all cleaned out there are all the weird wood that they had screwed down from the previous owner is now gone kind of see what we're working with and space wise um i got some big plans for this like i've said where i'm standing maybe the bed area elevated you know then closet bathroom kitchen area sitting area blah 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 all that kind of fun stuff so we got a lot of room to work with. That's the nice thing. Um, the first thing I guess to do would be clean this out and start framing the sides. At least that's where I'm going to start and put an insulation. My plan is to frame to um, this window line right here along the whole thing with two by fours, put insulation on it, and then drywall. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the top yet. I think I might just coat it or I might leave it as is. 
I don't really plan on drying this anywhere that crazy cold, so I don't need insulation. And the less stuff I put up here, the more headroom I have. And I really like that I can stand up completely throughout most of this thing. So what we're gonna do next is, I'm just gonna sweep all the crap out in here, and we're gonna go to the outside and go up on the roof again. Um, I'd like to start by acrylicing the whole roof white, and then we'll paint the bus. Um, but I'm gonna start with the annoying part first, which is rolling everything on the roof. So we'll get up there, and uh, next time you see me, we'll be up top. Alright, we're on top of the bus now. As you can see, like the rest of it, it is yellow. So. What we've decided with this is that it's going to be white, which is nice. Um, I have a bunch of leftover five gallon drums of silicone from my roofing days, and we should have enough to knock this out for free, which full silicone roof will just be a, a nice thing not to worry about. I will be putting some skylights up here, uh, but for now, we're going to get this coated because that means I can stop worrying about this and move on to the painting of the bus, which is going to be the fun part. I'm gonna get the exterior done while it's still nice and cool outside because uh, I do not want to be up here when it's really hot. So knock this out this week and then uh, hopefully next week we'll be framing interior and it'll all just kind of follow suit and get done real nicely. Because once this thing's converted, we can insure it and then we can drive it. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Sorry if it was a little all over the place. But we got the bus started, got that all figured out. Mechanically, we're in great shape, ready to go. We don't have anything to worry about there. Um, next, what we're gonna do is put the, the acrylic on the roof, get that all coated, and then we'll get to paint. Um, really excited about that, changing the look of it, because once we start that process, we can insure it and register it, because it won't be a school bus anymore. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys stick around, enjoy the content, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.